sense of urgency that you've put on the table over here when it comes to raw materials, rare earth materials, is shared by all parties at this table? Uh, I think certainly from the industry side, uh, which is uh, maybe uh, a surprise. I think from the Commission, I'm not sure. I think we have to uh, have uh, uh, bilateral discussions with people from the Commission. And I, it's, it's really urgent, and there's a lack of cooperation and a lack of knowledge um, in this area. And I'm looking at peak phosphor, which phosphor is uh, absolutely necessary to, to uh, grow food. And peak phosphor is 30 years. Rare earth metals might stop the production of electrical cars in two years. So the sense of urgency is really, really important. Knowledge and then take action. Absolutely. First of all, we need the statistics on the table. We need the input from the industry to say where the real bottlenecks are, and not only in a medium time perspective, but a long term perspective. Some of these things are really, really acute. Uh, so, information and then action. And I think we've proven that the three institutions together, when it comes on the financial crisis, that we could act when urgency called for it, we could act jointly and, and efficiently. And I, I call for the same kind of action when it comes to raw material. Well, first of all, I think we need to see uh, which raw materials we're running out of or where the uh, resources are very scarce. And we don't talk about 50, 100 years. In some areas, of course, 100 years is maybe short-term perspective, like for iron ore or something like that. But when it comes to phosphor, it's a medium-term perspective, and we are now negotiating in the agricultural policy uh, what we sh should do. If we don't get this in place now, uh, in the next couple of months, it will take a number of years before we can address the problem of, of uh, peak phosphor. Um, when it comes to rare earth metals, it's, it's a very short time perspective. It's one or two years already. And when I look at what China does and the US does, I, I, I get so frustrated.